What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And first of all, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Now, as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a book slash manga haul as well as talk to you guys about where I actually buy my manga and my books from. Because I do know that in a previous video someone commented wanting to know where I actually purchase or buy my manga. So why not tell you guys? And I also do know that Obviously, in my previous video where I did a manga reading vlog, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And it was where I was finishing the manga Death Note. I did actually talk about how I was planning to go to the bookstore that day, but didn't end up going. So I actually ended up going to the bookstore on Monday instead. And I also had gotten a few books throughout the week that I had ordered online. So why not get started with the books and the manga that I was able to get from the bookstore. So from the bookstore, I actually ended up getting two books or one manga one book. So the manga that I decided to get was Pokemon Adventures volume number one. I honestly would have gotten volume number two but they didn't have it so they only had volume one and volume number three. And as many of you guys know I've been wanting to read the Pokemon manga for a really long time. I've heard it's a lot different from the anime, it's a little bit more mature and I've always just wanted to check it out so I figured why not jump right in it as soon as I saw it. They had a really big volume of Pokemon Adventures number one. Can't wait to read it. Hopefully I get the other ones. I might buy the other ones digitally though because there is a lot of volumes of Pokemon instead of me buying the uh, physical copies. But right now, just got the first one. And the next thing I actually decided to get was actually just a regular book. It's not a manga, but it is a part of a trilogy that I have and it is called The Hand on the Wall. I actually do have the other two, which is the uh, Simply Devious, I believe, is the first one. And the other one is The Vanishing Stare. It's a trilogy and at least it's like about a private school. It's like a mystery kind of a story. Maybe I'll even do a reading vlog of me reading this trilogy because I've had the first two books for a super long time and I haven't even started them yet and I've heard they're really really good. Since it's still kind of like fall-esque and it's not yet December, I figured why not read a little bit more mysteries. So maybe I will definitely check those out or at least read them or do a reading vlog. Let me know if you guys would like that. I did post on my Twitter if you guys would like more reading vlogs and not just manga reading vlogs but just reading vlogs in general of me reading like regular novels or regular books so definitely let me know below so yeah that was the other book I got which was this one The Hand on the Wall can't wait to read this one so the other books that I decided to buy were actually from online because I wasn't able to buy them in store and the first one that I got was Mamet Lollipop now this is actually volume number seven of Mamet Lollipop I have volumes one through six I believe this is the final volume but I had to buy this online mostly because it is not it's not really an older manga but it's not it's been a really long time since it's been in stores and I haven't been able to find it and I didn't realize till recently that I only owned the first five and I didn't own the final two so I've been on the hunt for these finally got the seventh volume so I can finally complete my collection of a Met Lollipop I will probably probably do a reading vlog about this as well haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one either but definitely let me know if you guys would like that. I also did buy another one but uh, it's just a collection I've been collecting which is the Sailor Moon mangas. Those ones are already on my shelf so that's the reason why I'm not showing them here but that was another one that I also bought online. And then also the final one that I bought online and this is mostly because this is the one I actually went hunting for in the bookstore but could not find it and I was so upset because I went all the way there for this specific manga and it was volume number four of Sweat and Soap. So I own the first three volumes which I got from the bookstore and then this one just came out last month but I hadn't had a chance to you know take myself down to the bookstore and actually buy it. So I finally went on Monday they didn't have it and I was heartbroken because I really thought they would but they had volumes one two and three but they didn't have number four. So I ended up buying it online and I was super excited when it showed up. Showed up like in a couple of days so didn't take too long to get it and I'm super excited to finally get to reading number four. I've heard a lot about this manga. As many of you guys know I did my first, no my second reading vlog on me reading volumes one through three. Highly recommend it. Really really good. D could not rant and rave enough about this manga so definitely check it out if you haven't already read the synopsis check out my reading vlog if you like might have a few spoilers in it but hey it's okay but definitely check it out if you have not read this manga already and if you're someone that likes shoujo manga that's on a little bit more of a mature side 
check it out it's so good that's all the manga that i actually purchased are all the manga and the books that i purchased now as far as where i usually buy my manga and my books i mostly buy my books and manga from barnes and noble so that's usually where i go i have a barnes and noble not really that far from me it's like literally down the street from me so i can go there pretty easily and it's the place that i've just always gone to buy my books now as far as if I can't go to Barnes & Noble, there is a comic book shop a few cities over that I've actually gone to a few times. I was actually going to go to this comic book shop this previous weekend on like a Saturday, but I got kind of uh, shy about going in there, mostly because of like the whole like COVID situation and they were like ring the bell and I was like kind of nervous so I didn't ring the bell so I just kind of was just like, oh forget it, I'll just go to the bookstore later on and get this manga so i did end up going in but i usually also go there if i'm looking for something specific also because they have a pretty good wide selection of manga available so definitely don't mind going into there and then of course i also buy a manga online now usually when i buy manga online it is through amazon because you know amazon prime get that in like two days so i usually do go on amazon to buy manga i do feel like I probably might start checking out Right Stuff as well because I do know that a lot of people buy anime merchandise from there. I've also bought anime merchandise from there as well. Mostly DVDs and like little like trinkets but not so much like manga but I will probably start doing that as well. And I also buy manga digitally mostly because my bookshelves are like full to the brim and uh, my fiance will kill me if I keep buying more books and more manga so i am probably going to start buying a lot more manga digitally and usually when i buy manga digitally i do have a subscription to comiXology which is a service through amazon um, i do have that which maybe i'll do a review on to like start using it more often because i do think that it's a service that will probably be really cool because they have not just manga but also just comic books in general so i probably will do a review on that once i start using it a lot more as many of you guys know i also use the viz media manga app to not just read manga on there through the subscription but also to purchase manga volumes as well that's how i purchase all of fushigi yugi and that's also where I believe I also bought um, most of, I forgot what the manga was, but I've also bought another manga on there as well. But I definitely know I bought Fushigi Yugi, like all six of the omnibus volumes through there. So yeah, definitely recommend those are the places that I mostly go to buy manga. I recommend all those three places. I recommend Barnes & Noble, a local comic book shop in your town or a city that's nearby. Definitely try using Google search to see if you can find something near you that's like a comic book-esque kind of a shop, which I recommend. Online via Amazon or write stuff if you want something delivered to your house. And digitally, I definitely recommend definitely Viz Media Manga app. I haven't talked about this App enough where I talk about it all the time so definitely recommend that but yeah that's what I recommend for you guys if you're looking to buy manga or purchase manga whether it's in person having a physical copy or just having a digital copy I recommend those hopefully I'll have a review out for you guys soon about comiXology probably plan to start using that a little bit more often just because I know that if you're someone like me who likes to read a lot uh, digital is probably a good way to go <laughs> instead of like you know making your bookshelves look ridiculous which is what mine pretty much look like but yeah that's what i have for you guys i hope you guys like this video i will of course leave links below to all my social media accounts if any of you guys know i do have an instagram i have a twitter and i have a blog where i usually post these videos on there as well so definitely check that out too and of course like always give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down let me know what you guys like what you guys don't like and of course please subscribe if you haven't already and of course feel free to comment below if you want me to do more reading vlogs that aren't just manga i don't know i put that on my twitter and a lot of people said yes but i also want to know from you guys who did not see that on my twitter uh whether or not you guys would like that as well because i really do like doing reading vlogs they're a lot of fun i figure it's a great way to get my opinion out there about books that i'm reading or manga that i'm reading and probably also a great way to introduce you guys to a lot of new books or manga that i have that i've read and that i you know think a lot of you guys would enjoy and love so yeah definitely let me know about that but that's all I have for you guys today so like I always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and in today's day and age stay healthy and of course stay safe all right you guys 